Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the cubicles that I'm making for my Avengers Tower. Like everything with Lego, there is a ton of different ways that you can build and do any different thing. This was just how I came up with it. But to kind of quickly show you what I mean by, like I said, it's just a bunch of snap bricks is all that holds all this together. And it is quite simply just a little T shape or an X shape, if you will. Um, I have five studs this way, five studs this way, and then six studs on either side. And then they're all conjoined in the middle to give you that cubicle appearance. But each one of these, like I said, has a ton, and I mean a ton of snap bricks in them. For example, the wall decoration over here is held on by a 1x2 snap brick. And then the cabinet is also held on by a 1x2 snap brick. Now, the reason that it's only held on by a 1x2 is because with me having the cubicles back to back, what I've quite simply done is staggered the snap bricks. So I have one on the inside and I have one on the outside. And that is to hold these little cabinets is what I'm looking at those being um, for each one of these cubicles. And the cabinets are a very simple build of a two by four plate with the two by two jumpers on top of it. Now here's where it gets a little bit more technical because again, now I do want to point out it is a two one by two. Uh, brick with some studs on the sides and again the reason that is is because the brick right next to it is what's holding and I will even show you that is what's holding if I can get it all off in one piece there we go that's what's holding the desk for that side on as well um, but this is like I said where it gets a little bit more difficult if you will uh, what it is is you are using this is a sloped piece with some bricks on the back of it and each one of these single bricks, as you can see, and I'm going to pull this apart just so you can see it nice and clearly, is a snot brick. That's why I said there is a ton of snot bricks. So for the keyboard, I have one one by one snot brick. And then this one right here, I have to have two snot bricks on top of each other because we're building this way. So I have a snot brick and a snot brick right there. One snot brick is to hold my cup of coffee. And then the other snot brick is to hold my monitor. In my monitor, I'm just quite simply using that little bracket piece on top of two one by one rounds on top of this little new piece that's on the rounded side. And then that way I can place it on top of the desk and then I can actually tilt it around and angle it and play with it any way I want until I get the appearance of that monitor's angle the way that I feel it should look. And that is how I came up with that little desk. But here's the last little intricate part of the desk, which is this little part over here. And there's a reason that it's made the way that it is. When I am putting this in my Avengers Tower, I have these bricks to make it look like the little studs that the, the the feet if you will of the cubicle because the cubicles where I work I'll have a little pad that holds them up or a foot if you will and I wanted to get that particular portion of detail included with my build but not only that by me doing the snot technique with this I'm going to show you as you can see when it's pushed in all the way my table and I'm trying to line it up for you because so you can see it my table is actually one plate, as far as the desk anyway, higher than this stud. And the problem that you have is this is built with snot. So there's no, there is a different way you can do it, but this is the way that I decided to do it. Because um, I didn't want to have this portion actually attached to the plate. So quite simply, my cabinet, if you will, that I made, is it's a brick, it's a one by two with a one by two brick snot brick on the facade of it, as you can see here. And then all this is, is the little bracket piece. And let me pull that back apart so you can see. And then this is a plates around that. And then I put a two by two plate with a two by two tile in front of it. But that gives me the illusion of, as you can see on this one, having a foot on the desk. And then also by this being built this way, because this is the front of your cabinet, once you put your jumper plates on top of that, you can't see that discoloration. And it gives you a real natural look 
for the cabinet. So now we can take our desk piece that we made here, pop our cabinet back on, and then it looks like a fully functioning desk in a cubicle. And how cool is that? At least I really like how these turned out anyway. And again, you will be seeing these in my Avengers Tower, which is why I'm making this video right now, because once they're in it, you are not going to be able to see these in any type of close depth or detail. Now, if anybody thinks that they need to have a more instructional video than what I just showed to make it here, I can make one at a later date. It's just, it's a lot easier for me to just kind of run through and show you guys a quick explanation of what I've actually done because I know most of it, it's just simple parts and it's just, it's really quite easy to kind of figure out if you play with it a little bit. And to me, this is just a great way to kind of help you guys play around with home and learn a little bit yourself by playing with it and trying to see what kind of pieces work. Just to give you a sneak peek of how these cabinets look like all lined up together, there you have it. And to me, they really add a very neat and cool touch of detail by having them all placed like that inside of one building. Anyway, though, that is all for this video. So as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And hopefully, we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.